Hello friends, welcome to our channel CNC Programming and Time World. And today we will create, we will design this torsion spring and with the help of helix command and with the help of sweep along guide with this command we will create this so let's start with the helix command and for this I will choose this plane and I will start from the sketcher and <clears throat> just click and draw a circle and draw I will draw a circle of diameter of diameter 11 11 is the diameter of my circle because this the diameter of this helix is 11 just finish this and go to the curves and select helix select this circle or if you are going to create without circle just hide this or delete this and select helix and first I will change this diameter to 11 and pitch my pitch value is 2.5 now rotate this to 90 90 the start angle set start angle as 0 and pitch is 2.5 and number of turn or limit I will set second limit I will set this limit to 26 minus 4 22 26 half the half of 26 is 13 and 13 minus 4 means 9 the end limit will be 9 and click OK. Just see the orientation. The orientation is reverse. So just change to uh, just change to left. Just see first I will click OK and now I will see hmm. this is my orientation I need a curve here with this line curve just select a first point and I will use along along y along y i need this is my 55 the limit is 55 millimeter and click ok and again select the line and this point and the direction to x and this distance is 26 minus 16 10 and half of 10 is 5 only 5 apply first it will go downward so double click this and change the orientation as Z and reverse value of this so it will come down and again line from the last point and this time the direction will be X direction will be X and value set value as 5. So my first limit is almost complete. Only this 
corner plate is remain I will do it later on and for this just select a plane parallel to this curve and up to infrared select the plane and plane will pass through the end point of this helix and now I will change the orientation and click ok this time I will start with this last point and click and normal the view uh, orient the view now dimension this the center point and this end point this value is 3.2 set this value to and the horizontal distance between vertical axis and the last point of this is 13.8 that is correct this is 13.8 it is coming without mentioning any dimension so my one curve is left and this is we have to go just like the line and click and direction will be x select x and this distance is 4 type it 4 and click ok now I have to define some fillet between this curve so I will go to insert and in insert drive curve and from the drive, drive curve menu I will choose this circular blend curve and circular blend I will choose this as a value and the value the radius of this fillet will be 2 so select first curve and click second curve and choose cylinder and click apply again click apply <coughs> and click or apply so this curve are filleted now this time trim this trim this curve with respect to this curve this curve apply trim this curve with this and apply trim this curve with this and apply trim this curve with this and apply trim this with this trim this curve with this sorry yes so almost we have done now fit the window and this time I will use this tube and the, and the diameter of this is 1.5 so just change 1.5 as a diameter and click curve I see the preview complete is not possible just cancel and again I will choose let's do one more time with the same option tube and 1.5 is the outer diameter and just click apply again choose this helix and click apply again this last one and click apply and ok and now I want to mirror this so first I need a plane so select the uh, rotten plane and click this plane and the offset value is 4 and click ok now I want to mirror this select mirror feature 
select the feature this is feature and I will choose this from here and plane plane will be this and click ok let's see this is my output minimize and hide this datum plane so friends hope you understand this properly <coughs> If you want to change the material or color, you can change. So very interesting and very helpful tutorial. Hope you like this. So see you then. Thank you for watching and keep subscribe our channel.